What's happening guys? My name is Danger on PC and today I'm going to be showing you a seriously basic Osagun shop tutorial. Um, please don't hate that it's really basic. Uh, I'm still quite basic at E2 as well. So let's get straight into it. So you want to go to the Q menu, then wire, and we're going to go to console screen. Pick whatever model you want and just spawn it in. Then we're going to want to go to expression 2. We're going to want to make a new expression. And we're going to call it Gunshop Tutorial. Just delete those so I don't accidentally muck them up. I'm just going to put V2 on the end because I uh, tried earlier. And let's spawn that in. Then we are going to need a Ranger. Wherever that's gone. A Ranger here. And we're going to need a User as well. Put that there. And then we're going to need a money pot as well. So we're just going to stick that there somewhere. Right. Now, what we are going to want to do is select our inputs and outputs from our Expression 2 chip. So, our outputs. Well, what we're going to want to do in the end, we're going to want to spawn a gun. So what's going to actually spawn the gun is the user. So we're going to have U1 in there. We can delete, trigger and persist. Inputs. Well, we're going to want our screen to be an input. So CS Y link. Then we're going to want our money pot to be an input as well. So we're going to have pot. And then we can have our ranger as well because that's what's going to show us if the shipment is actually in range or not. Right. So let's just save that. Go down to your advanced wire. We're going to link everything up. Pot to last amount. R1 to distance and uh, the user to U1. You should all know how to wire those sort of things up by now if you've watched my previous videos. Right, so let's go back to our expression 2. So, what are we going to want to check for? Well, first off, we want to check if there is actually a shipment um, in range to actually be activated. So, what we're going to do is if R1 greater than zero so that's checking if it if there is something in range of the uh, of the ranger then we are going to want to say cs write string in stock i'm going to want to put it in a nice little place so at the moment i'm just going to put it at oh um 10, line 3, then we want 789-990-789. Let's put it there. Then we're going to create an else statement. So if something isn't in range, then we're going to write a string of out of stock. We're going to have that at 10. Would help if you close the brackets. 10, 3, 999-700. 999. Now that's going to flash um, red and red and white. So, oh, I forgot all the um, forgot all the layout and everything. Let's just uh, comment that off there. So what we're going to want to do is right, uh, right, set it up at the top. So we're going to have, I'm going to put dangerous gun shop, just something simple. Um, and then we're going to have that at 7071, seven, sorry. And then we're going to have that in white. Uh, then we need to write where our guns are going to be. So at the moment, I'm just going to put a blank space there. Just to um, space things out a little bit. And I'm going to write a string of... Oh, what should we have? What should we have? Well, let's have a look first at what we do have. So that's going to error for a moment. Let's have a look what we do have. We'll have an ACR, shall we? Oops. There we go. So I'll we'll have ACR times 1. 
I may not be able to do this on here actually, just thinking. Um, but hopefully we will, and we'll put that in white as well. Then we want our um, our price to be on there. Now, actually, to be fair, what we can do to put it a little bit simpler is just put price over here somewhere, a couple of spaces, and then there. And then if we just save and upload that, there we go. Hmm. It appears that our price hasn't appeared. So what we're going to do? Well, first we're going to put our available in no, out of stock and in stock a little bit further over. Ah, there we go. I see. It's a little bit too far. So we're going to go to 18 and 18. Let's see if that's. Now sometimes you do have to remove the console screen and bring it back in because it is a little bit buggy but it's not a big deal there we go see right so you can do this for many guns um, I'll just show you you can just create uh, R2, U2 up there so on and so forth and just change it so that they're in different positions and all that right so let's get down to the actual core uh, doings of this. So how much is our ACR worth? It's worth 400, right. So we're going to check if pot is equal to 400, then we're going to activate our user. Else our user is going to be off, like so. Now that should mean that if we do get, um, if there is 400 in the money pot, then the user will turn on and spawn the gun. If there isn't that amount, then it will be zero. Like so. Um, now let's see if I can do something about this. Can I create a shipment? No, I can't. Ah. Okay. That's not good either. Would help if I wasn't a spoon. There we go. Right. Well, I'm not going to be able to show you guys it, it actually working. Um, but I promise you it does work. I mean, I can stand in range here, look, and it's in stock. Um, to fix that, as you saw then, um, it's on the edge so there's four characters at the end so all we need to do is put two spaces there and two spaces there and then it should be fine like so I can show you um, if we put a box in the way that'll tend to in stock if we remove the box that'll tend to out of stock um, I may be able to show you actually the um, No, never mind then. <laughs> I have tried. Um, but anyway, guys, uh, that's a basic gun shop tutorial. Um, if you have any issues or anything, and uh, uh, then just comment below the video. Should all, uh, it should all work fine. Don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, subscribe, guys, and peace out.